Okay. Hi everyone, this is Bella Mehta reporting from new uh, from the ACR 23 for Room Now and I have with me uh, Paras Karmacharya Hi. who is uh, going to talk to us about a very interesting abstract, abstract number 502, um, which is developing uh, algorithms to accurately identify psoriatic arthritis patients. Um, can you tell us more about your study? Um, sure. So, as you know, electronic health records are a cost-effective and efficient way of um, identifying large group of patients um, for our research, especially for um, diseases which are um, less common. Um, however, we know that psoriatic arthritis is a really heterogeneous disease, and so that sort of translates to uh, the finding them in the EHR as well. And so we wanted to develop um, an algorithm which could accurately identify these patients in the EHR. Um, and so for this, we use our um, uh, EHR, um, which is called the synthetic derivative. So it's a replica of the EPIC EHR, um, which is de-identified. So what do you, when you mean, <clears throat> when you say replica, it's like the same patients, everything yes. is the same, but the number, the identifiers are just masked out. Yes, it's, it's stripped off of the identifiers and, and maybe the, the dates are off by about, or could be off by anywhere from one to three years. I see. Um, uh, so that it's totally de-identifiable. Um, and the, the reason for that is it is, um, it is um, um, uh, associated with our biobank, okay. uh, which is um, about half of the patients in this uh, synthetic derivative have um, uh, at least samples collected okay. for sequencing, and so they are actively being sequenced. So, so, so how many patients did you have, and what did you find? Yes, and so uh, we, we found about uh, twenty. Uh, we found a cohort of twenty-seven hundred patients. Um, with psoriatic arthritis. So with psoriatic arthritis. So the, the way, um, and it has a pretty good positive predictive value of uh, above 90% and a uh, uh, sensitivity of 81%. So, uh, so, and you sort of went back and checked the charts of a few patients? That's yes, what you... Yes, so uh, what we did was, so, so the synthetic derivative has about 3.5 million uh, patients. And so among them, we first screened them for any... Um, ICD-9 or 10 codes for psoriatic arthritis or psoriatic arthritis in their in the keyword okay. uh, of the chart. And uh, that got it down to about uh, 5,700. And after that, basically, we split those into, we found like random samples uh, in that uh, 5,700 patients, 200 training and 300 um, validation uh, set. And then we reviewed both of those sets manually I to see. see who are uh, actual cases, true cases. And true case was basically defined as anybody who had, um, uh, who was, who had a confirmatory diagnosis by a rheumatologist or fulfilled the CASPER criteria for chart review. Okay, so then in a way you had 5,000 patients and but at the end of it you just had 2,000 patients. Yes. So it's like... 50% though, right? That's true. That's, that's uh, sort of the, the usual trend in the EHR that we find that about 50% are true cases. And, and that's why I think it's important to, to develop have these. A actual algorithm, yes. Okay, well, great. Uh, so I guess uh, for people doing clinical research, um, having like one code by a rheumatologist or like multiple codes uh, uh, serially in an electronic medical record, uh, sort of defines the true cases. Is that what you would say? Um, so this, uh, so in our EHR, the best algorithm was one where uh, we had at least four codes, four or more. That's codes. a lot. It is yes, I have four or more ICD-9 or ten codes for psoriatic arthritis, or one code by a rheumatologist. Um, now this might be different for other EHRs of course, based on of like how people code. For example, like if there's a rule out, if people are used to putting like a rule out code, if rheumatologists mm -hmm. are used to putting a rule out code for diseases, then that might not work as uh -huh. well. Um, and so the number of codes might be different, but it, I think it sort of gives a starting point 
to look at algorithms at other EHRs as well, but it definitely it would need some tailoring to fit other EHRs. Great, and where do you think you'll go from here? Uh, so and what's this the future? Is, <laughs> so this is definitely um, the first step of our research where we uh, have identified the these patients with psoriatic arthritis. So the next step is basically we are actively reviewing their charts to better phenotype these patients. Um, and then um, we, um, in the next two years, so it's actively being uh, sequenced right now, uh, these patients. And so we hope to uh, find a combination of both uh, phenotype and genotype that could predict uh, treatment outcomes in this Oh, great. Patients. Well, we'll yes. uh, watch from your group <laughs> much more. Thank and you. with that, signing off, this is Bella Mehta. Follow us Thank on you. Room Now um, and on Twitter, uh, Bella underscore Mehta. Thank you.